Hi folks, this is Dr. John Collins at Springbrook Chiropractic in Newburgh, Oregon. And we're going to start the health class today with a short video where we try to answer a very important question. And the question is, what is health? We hear the word health all the time. It's used constantly mainly in uh, connection with health care, health care. Health care is caring for health. It's basically the largest industry in the United States is the health care industry. Um, economically speaking, it is the largest sector of our economy. It is incredibly important. Study after study has shown that our current healthcare system is not doing a very good job. We'll get into that in later classes. But I feel like it's just so important to get the most important question out of the way first. And that question is, what is health? I've been practicing now for 23 years as a chiropractor. Uh, chiropractors are not just back pain doctors, their, their underlying goal is to help people with their health. And <clears throat> as part of my work as a chiropractor, I've been giving classes for years and years and years. And in my class, I ask people, what is health? I've asked hundreds of people this question, and I've never gotten the same answer from any two people. And that's kind of uh, an interesting thing to, to realize. Uh, let me use an example. Um, if I were to ask you to close your eyes and visualize an automobile, you would do it. And you could probably agree with me that most people wouldn't visualize the same automobile. Some people would visualize a convertible. Some would can visualize a, an SUV. Some might visualize uh, a pickup truck. They would, they would all visualize different makes and models and years. Uh, you can see my Subaru there off in the distance at the dog park here. But it's just like that. If we ask people what health is, Everyone in their own mind has their own version and they'll give their own answer. And on the one level, maybe that would be good, but if we're all trying to improve the health of our country as individuals and as a nation, doesn't it make sense that we all agree on what health is? If I was gonna play a game or play sports with someone, we would kind of have to agree on the rules. If we were playing basketball, we would agree, okay, that's the basket and this is the ball and the objective is to put the ball inside the hoop. You know, it, that's the objective. You get two points for that. So if we didn't agree that that was the goal, that was the objective of the game, then it would be chaos. So in health, in the term and the subject of health, We've got 330 million people in this country and they all have their own idea of what health is. And our government and the healthcare system, the insurance industry, the biomedical industry, the pharmaceutical industry, they haven't been of much help either because they don't really clearly define what health is. And if they do have definitions, they often disagree with each other. The World Health Organization does have a definition for health, but I find that it's outdated and it really doesn't do a good job at clearly defining what health is. I want to give a shout out to my librarian wife. Her name is Anne Marie Anderson. She's a reference librarian. And years ago, maybe 10 or 15 years ago, I asked her, I said, what is the definitive dictionary that is the most respected dictionary in the English language? And she said that the Oxford English Dictionary 
which is not available online. You have to have a subscription for it. It's a, it's a vast database of definitions. But the Oxford English Dictionary, which they call the OED, is the definitive dictionary of the English language. And I, I said, could you look up? Because she has access to the database. It's a, you need a subscription. I said, would you look up the definition of health on the Oxford English Dictionary? So she did. And the definition of health from the Oxford English Dictionary is basically as follows. Health is the state of a living organism wherein its functions are being dutifully and efficiently discharged. Well, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Um, most people would not say that about health. They would say health is when you're not sick or health is when you feel pretty good and you can get things done and you can go about your business. And those are all decent definitions. But we really need a clear vision or a clear, precise definition of what health is. You can go to my website and you can see uh, the Oxford English Dictionary definition of health. My definition and the definition that some of my colleagues in chiropractic and in integrative medicine, functional medicine, natural medicine are using is basically health is the presence of proper function. Health is when you as an individual are functioning properly at all levels simultaneously. And what I mean by that is Human beings are made up of organs, organ systems, organs and structures, and organs and structures are made out of tissues, and tissues are made out of cells, and cells are the smallest living unit in any living creature, including human beings, mammals, dogs, etc. Cells are the smallest living unit. And when you are functioning properly, from the cellular level all the way up to the whole being level, you're functioning properly in society, then you are healthy. Now health, of course, is not just an on or off thing. It's not a yes or no, I'm healthy. It's health really exists on a spectrum from zero health, which it means zero function. You're not functioning at all from the cellular to the social level uh, to optimal or ideal or perfect function from the cellular to social level. So really health is your level of function from the cellular level to the social level. If you're a human being, health is your level of function from the cellular level to the social level. Optimal health means you're functioning optimally from the cellular level to the social level. Zero health, no health whatsoever, means you're not functioning at all from the cellular level to the social level. And that basically is death. There's no function at the cellular level. You're dead. There's no life. So we all reside somewhere on that spectrum. And unfortunately, most of us don't reside on the good side of that spectrum as, as we should, or as close to the optimal as we should. So the, in the following videos, what I'm going to do is to try to give you my best information on how to improve your health. In other words, how to improve your function from the cellular level to the social level. Okay? How to improve your function from the cellular level to the social level to get your function as good as possible, as good as it can be. Therefore, get your health as good as possible or as good as it can be. Okay, well thank you very much. I appreciate your watching.